I was at the Capitol on January 6th. She just admitted to being at the Capitol on January 6th. Now, I think it's important that we prosecute. Like, right when I heard that, I just thought it was hilarious because everything that she did was a pivot from the moment it started. Mm -hmm. It was bad blood from the side. They walked out. They shook hands like a divorced couple, you know, at their son's graduation. It was just, uh, I figured she'd be more confident. She looked very nervous. I figured with the Stanley Cup of wine she probably had under that podium, <laughs> she might be able to compete, keep her composure better. But the more angry he got, the more balanced she kind of seemed. Mm. But I don't blame him for being angry because the whole debate, it was three on one, like Lindsey Graham in a rest area bathroom. It was just <laughs> completely three on one. And... It, I was just waiting for one of the questions from an announcer, from one of the, uh, what do you call, dipshits. Uh, I was waiting for one of the questions just to be hitting him over the head with a chair and then showing his Kamala t-shirt. Right. It, it was the most biased thing from the get-go. She could have said that the earth was triangle and they wouldn't have checked it. Right. It was absolutely ridiculous. Like it, She was also, the, from the first question, she completely dodged it and then just went into the worst plan about the country's middle class, which she was basically gearing it to the people that f their flat screens haven't been taken by Rent-A-Center yet. <laughs> and the whole time she just mugged like Jim from The Office. Yeah, that I mean, that was insanely irritating to me like it was so contrived this like fake little smile that condescending smile like oh my gosh i can't believe what you're saying it was so irritating dave and i just i wonder does that actually connect with people do people like that i, I men don't because they're used to that face it's very <laughs> yeah it's very you're, you're not getting any tonight um i don't know if women do but i i don't think women like other women no offense to the ones on the panel you probably hate each other in competition <laughs> I, I don't know if they relate to that i don't know if anybody relates to her like she just thought of the strategy when they decided that the other guy was gonna die <laughs> it's and i don't know if they even came to the strategy decision um, i want to play another no. clip here uh dave you pointed this one out watch I have traveled the world as vice president of the United States, and world leaders are laughing at Donald Trump. I have talked with military leaders, some of whom worked with you, and they say you're a disgrace. Okay. I pulled that clip because I thought she said she had been talking to middle schoolers, <laughs> and I completely misheard it. <laughs> but as far as it being a disgrace, it was funny that she said she agreed to pull out of Afghanistan to save taxpayers $300 million. Was that to reallocate the money into billions to go to other foreign wars that we don't want to be a part of? Because I don't want to tell you the things that I just did to a guy uh, down at the 7-Eleven for a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> Everything that she pointed out, like even at the end when she said her big closer, like, I'm not Joe Biden. It's like, well, yeah, of course you're not. But when you go to retirement homes, I'm sure you're not going to use the Southern voice. Oh, the other part I loved was when she, got, when she said, people leave your rallies early. Well, sure, he was getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> as opposed... Queen of order. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to when people left... <laughs> You know, Biden's rallies early because he just had to take a question from Ben Franklin and then shake hands with a camera. <laughs> yeah, I will say, Dave, as you point out the getting shot thing, uh, a big part of me wanted you on the debate stage. <laughs> that, that's that's what ran through my head. It was it would have been great if you were up there uh, to say that because that would have been. I can't believe he didn't make more of a big deal. The guy actually got shot, right. shot on stage. It was like a, a twelve hour story. And like the media yeah. was just totally moved on. Yeah, somebody, we were talking about that the other day on Sarah's show where people say, do we still have to talk about that? It's like, we're still trying to figure out what happened to JFK. Right. This was like six weeks ago. <laughs> and we're like, we don't need to bring it up. It just nicked his ear. Yeah. You're like, oh, okay. Oh. And of course, we let the Secret Service take a one hour online DeVry class. <laughs> and then just, <laughs> we just hired four people and just were like, eh, do your best. If you think you might hear a bullet, do your best to look away. <laughs> Once he's on the ground, rush the stage. <laughs> but let him get up and, and, and walk around and do other things. It's R totally fine. Yeah, he should be saying,
saying, where's my shoes? That's when you that's when you jump to protect someone is once their shoes fall off. It, I think it's going to be the end of the world soon. So enjoy the last few breaths of freedom we have. I wish I could be less bleak, but um, mm -hmm. I'm not. Uh, uh, Nicole asked, do you suppose she practiced those faces in the mirror for a few hours? Oh, I absolutely think she did. It was like Jim Carrey practicing before he became a stand-up. <laughs> I also think they gave her the questions in advance, and I was wondering if she was wearing an earpiece. Yeah. I, it felt like she was ready for a few of them. It did. It did. I mean, look, she was pretty well prepared. And, and I will say, even past debates, she's been prepared for. Where she's you know, had problems is when she gets off kilter at all. As soon as it goes off of script, she doesn't know what to do with herself. Uh, today, she was able to basically stay on uh, script. Um, one more uh, for, from Elizabeth. She asks, has there even been one fact check on Kamala Harris? Were you, did you love the fact checking from the moderators, Dave? Oh, yeah, it was great. Um, I think the fact that the one lady was dressed like a background dancer on Smooth Criminal shows you what a great <laughs> job they planned on doing. Uh, they didn't fact check anything that she said. And then any time Trump said something, they were like, sir, sir. You've been speaking for 10 seconds. There's no way that's true. Let's go back to Kamala. She was just talking about the greatest economy we've had for the last four years. <laughs> they really were just interrupting him and saying, oh, yeah, you know, we just want to move on. We want to move on, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Trump. I yeah, absolutely incredible. He was, just a, he was just the girl on the couch with seven black guys behind him. <laughs> Too much. All right. Probably, We've probably seen the meme. I'm just saying no, no. he was getting screwed. I thought mm -hmm. the whole time. Yes, I oh, thought that's. that's yeah, no, I thought oh. that's where you were going. Um, and I, I was trying to be gentlemanly about it. You know, I waited you, till Dave. late to get naughty. That's you, Dave. Gentleman. That's I'm what people a gentleman. think about. When it's they why think I. It. It's why I overdressed for this occasion. You certainly did.